Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan with another 12 inch diameter wood panel and I'll try to create another uh, modified bloom reef. Um, to start the process, you can see I started spreading my pillow paint in the center of the panel and the idea behind is, and I think it's the most important thing uh, we have to pay attention if we are doing this kind of pattern is making sure that we have very um, small amount of paint in the center. The reason is when I spin it after I pour my other colors, um, we don't want to spread paint in the center, but we do want to spread out our paint on the surroundings. So we need extra paint on the sides, but not in the center. You might be wondering what's the ratio for my pillow paint. I actually mixed a little bit of GAC 800 uh, mixed with my house paint. Right now I am pouring everything uh, right out of the um, paint container because I'm running low and I'm just using the paint container as my uh, mixture bucket because less West. The green color that I just use has uh, three or four dif different shades of green from different brands mixed together. I also added some green pigment in there. I don't exactly remember the ratios or proportions. Um, the peach, orange, yeah, pinkish uh, color that you can see, that one is Art Minds Knockout. So that's, that one has only one color in there. And the third color that I'm using is 24 karat gold from DecoArt mixed with um, a little bit of Golden's um, high flow gold. As you can see, as I'm making th uh, six puddles, they don't have to be exactly the same. They are, it can be a little messy because once you blow, it doesn't, it's actually very forgiving. It doesn't show your imperfections. The cell activator that I'm using today is Onyx Black from Amsterdam. Um, this is my first time trying this color. Usually I use Paints Gray because I find Paints Gray really um, kind of blends in but not as much, if you know what I mean, uh, with other colors. So this is my first time trying using black we'll see how it turns out we need to blow a little with torch now i'm going to blow my um puddles i'm trying to show you how i blow my puddles and it's kind of difficult because it covers up with my head so i asked my daughter to video record uh, so this is what we could come up with excuse our amateur recording qualities so the interesting part of blowing is you have to blow in a way so when you're when you're blowing your cell activator you make sure that you are also carrying some of the paint from the bottom but don't blow too hard that uh, 
the colors will fly and the pillow paint will show up then you see in this particular uh, blow there is a white a little bit of white underneath my cell activator because i blew it too hard so i think with bloom the trickiest part is how you blow your um, paint it cannot be too strong it cannot be um, and you have to make sure that you are spreading your cell activator as on top of your other paints as you blow it kind of reminds me of the story of three little pig As you can see, I sometimes use boba straws to help myself blow. Um, you can do more precise blowing with boba straws. Now that I'm done with blowing, I am going to modify my pour and then I'll spin. At this point, you might find yourself in a situation that your um, de design or pattern is not balanced in the center. Maybe it's, it's uh, spread out one side a little more than the other side. Um, you can always go back and you can um, blow with your mouth to spread out a little on the sides that it's not all the way balanced to make it balanced. 
and then you can do your modification a little bit more if you want to you don't have to in this particular instance i am doing some modification because i love doing that part and when i'm doing modification at the end you can see i can i am using the pointy side of the skewer to modify my pore 